David, who is he? I'm sorry, sir, but that information is classified. Put me through to the president. He's operational code name, at least. Jack Strong, sir. My role was to meet a source, a Polish military officer, about whom I had very little knowledge, except I was assured by my superiors that this was an exceedingly valuable source. This wasn't the first clandestine source I had worked with. I'd worked with many, but from the very first few minutes, he was impressive. The whole body of information was important. I, there were very exceptional reports, for example, on the Albatross command and control bunkers and things like that. The information on the martial law was significant. But I think the most important thing to recognize about Colonel Kuklinski's information was that it was from such a high level and it concerned so many important things that over time it provided us with the ability to understand what the Soviets were planning for in terms of war in Central Europe. And that understanding is a highly significant capability. He was an acquaintance of one of our officers in Vietnam. He was not being exploited as a source of information, but obviously our guy, who was a friend of mine, a native Polish speaker, collected certain information, you know, not secrets, just about the character and the quality of the interest of this man. He reported them back to headquarters, came back and talked to us, talked to me about them, and said, you know, if he ever appears again somewhere around the world, we should be sure to meet him. And we did. The process of working the analysis of intelligence is kept specifically separate from policy because policy is a political objective and the analysis of intelligence has to be kept free of those kinds of pollutions. So our responsibility was to collect the information. Uh, it became my responsibility to analyze the information. Once it was analyzed, it was provided to policymakers what they did with it, the deliberations that they used and, and considered were frankly opaque to me. Well, basically from the very beginning, because I recognize uh, what an enormous risk he has accepted to meet with the enemy. Uh, he wants to tell me, us, things that he thinks our government must know, needs to know, so that our government, the American government, can help Poland once again become a free country and not a vassal state of the Soviet Union. That was his motivation. That's why he came to us. Make it clear, make, it, make them understand. We understood. 